and roll. I really did want to wear a Christmas jumper today. I want you to know that. But housing situation, it's in the old gaff. So I'm wearing a jumper, not a sweater. And I realised also you're going to be wearing some sort of red I velvet thing. I feel like that's a sweatshirt, my friend. And this is crushed hot pink. Ooh. <laughs> don't, what is going on under there? Don't get... I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you I yet. I can see it. No, you can't. Cheeky. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's for later, if you've been good. Uh, okay. Quick Christmassy get to know you opening salvo. Yeah. You ready for this? Come on. What are... Your five to ten favourite Christmas films in no particular order. Oh my God, what are you doing to me? Shoot from the hip. And these can be films that if you found out a friend hadn't seen them, you'd go, huh? that sort of film. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Nice. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Wonderful Life. Oh, yeah. If you're in the mood. That might be, mm, yeah, but that might be the top one. Um, Bit of Home Alone in there. Oh, my God. Yeah, um, mm, mm. yeah Home Alone. Mm. Yeah, but not like massively. Um, what else? What else? Oh my god. Can I put the words... Cheeky heads up. The Muppet Christmas Carol in your mind? I mean, my, anything that's got Pepe, the... What does he say? I'm a shrimp. I'm, not, I'm a king prawn. What does he say? I'm a shrimp, not a king prawn. It's that uh, way round. Well, my favourite character is, is Rizzo. And like the lamp, not the rat, all that stuff, I love it. <laughs> it's just absolutely brilliant. And uh, all of the Kermie stuff... I'm a big, big fan. Would you include Die Hard as a Christmas film? Controversial no. question. <laughs> you can take that away. No, not for me. It's been decided. Yeah, that's not for me. It's been I decided. like an old school. Mm. You know? White Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. See? Oh. There it is. Yeah. By the way, this is a curiosity question, but who wore it better? Him? Yes. Or <laughs> him? Oh. Hello? <laughs> There's no competition at all. Are you kidding me? Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> Again, it's been decided. Um, by the way, yes. you only went and bloody did it. You've made a singing Christmas extravaganza. I don't want to flatter you too much. Yes, Come I on. do. But you did it. This is a this is a life achievement unlocked. Do you this know what is, this is? You've this peaked. Is, this is not mucking about. It is Christmas not special. mucking about. Mm. When you got this opportunity, I mean, how did it how did it come to be? Was it a phone Myself call? Myself and my manager, Nick Tedisco, mm -hmm. approached Apple and went, come on. Rewind, Nick Tedisco. Nick Tedisco, sometimes Nick to Rumba, Nick to Cha Cha. I yeah. love this man already. I know, I mean, and he's uncommonly beautiful in every way. So he said, you've done the Christmas episode of Ted Lasso. You've done, you know, you've helped out a little known, beautiful crooner, Michael Buble. Whoever. I mean, why don't you do your own? So we approached Apple and said, is there a place mm -hmm. um, on Apple for a proper, completely live, untouched in a studio afterwards, I might add, oh. Christmas special on stage? Oh, where would you like to do it? In London, where I'm from, right? Well, you could do this place, you could do that place. No, it needs to be where I've been with my mum for 30 years, the London Coliseum. You sing plenty of songs in this, but are there any... Christmas pop bangers that you didn't get to sing that you have a soft spot for? Ones that you'd love to play, let's say, on Radio 1 on Christmas Day, if you could? Um, those I'm keeping in my little Christmas pocket for next time. Because this is, this is I think, my first foray. Uh -huh. The yeah. needle drops there will happen later. There were plenty that, that we thought we could get to grips with, but we will definitely give a, a run out to, for sure. Excellent. Yeah. Dare I ask you to pick a favourite song from this show? I genuinely can't because they all have... We wanted to get a real kind of emotional arc and like my beloved Ted Lasso, that whole thing of of somebody's laughing even though they've got tears streaming down their face from the previous song. I remember That's well. my vibe. You like to hit them where it hurts? I do. And then slap a smile on their face? Yeah. I want to get a big sparkly Christmas spear and smash it into your chest, <laughs> give it a wiggle around and then go, but anyway, enough about that, let's have a party. <laughs> Can that be put on the posters at this point? Yeah. yeah. Is there space? Yeah. Let's make that happen. Um, what about maybe some special treats in store? I don't want to give away too much, but does Mel Gedroich at any point appear in the background milking, milking. seductively? No. I still cannot believe that occurred. You can't. You can't. Imagine me when they went, Mel Gedroich's just going to be gently, you know, interfering with a pole. 
in the background and not a person. <laughs> right, shall we get back to the competition? I said, shall we get back to the competition? Dear me. I remember whipping out my phone as an involuntary action. I wonder action. where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't control. Um, I just took my phone out and went, I need to record this straight away. It's on TV. All of my friends are watching it together, but I need to know that this is happening. I know. And I was told to not acknowledge it. And I was just a bit like, guys, come on. And I could just gently hear her behind me. And I'm a massive fan of hers anyway. She and I had the giggles so badly. Honestly, I should win an award for keeping a straight face in that moment. I the, love her. The straight face award goes to... Seriously. This is a curiosity question as someone who's sung many a song in her lifetime. Do you have an individual lyric that you love to deliver? Of a song you've performed in this or a song that you've performed of all time, whether it's Sondheim or Spamalot or whatever it might be? Uh, no. Immediately when you said that, it was nothing to do with anything you'd asked. Brilliant. My favourite... <laughs> ah, my work here is done. <laughs> my favourite line ever is in Wichita Lineman. And I need you more than want you and I want you for all time. To me and my little girlies song. This You're is, welcome. You need to tell a joke now, otherwise everyone's going to be... You see? There's that spear. <laughs> Oosh! <laughs> waggle, waggle, waggle. Yeah. See? But that's the poster. Waggle, waggle, <laughs> waggle. <laughs> By the way, it took a real core part of me not to bring in some shortbread today. Because last time I'm we spoke... I'm so glad you didn't. Yes, it gets everywhere. It's very crummy. Yeah. Um, but last time we spoke, you told me about a Scottish uh, airline pilot who brought you... Yeah. Some shortbread. Yeah, the actual pilot Incredible. walking down the plane and giving me biscuits. Going. Bit of fun. <laughs> Do you have uh, any other memorable fan interactions that have happened since or before, really? Um, hard to top that, really. I mean, it is hard to top that, but the one that made me realise that I should always just put a gentle slick of mascara on is a five o'clock flight when I was doing Game of Thrones. Well, actually, no, a little bit after that. And I was fully in mummy mode with my then, like, three-year-old. Uh -huh. And this guy sitting next to me, I mean, my own little world with a cap on, no makeup, because it's a whole o'clock in the morning. Completely. And he was just like, would I be right in thinking you can ring my bell? And I thought, can you f Sorry. off, Sorry. please? I'm and then I had to sit next to him for four hours. I'm having, Seriously. I'm having a cringe attack. My and brain just went, note to self, put a little something on. That's not on you, that is on him. <sighs> what a dick. Again, last time we spoke, lovely YouTube video, a few comments beneath, and one I just want to plant a little seed in your mind. Oh, God. Ray Fiennes, he's not bad, we like him. Yeah. But if there ever could be a universe where I could manifest you playing M <sighs> in the Bond oh, world, that would be a good world. I would love that. But she'd have to be called H. <laughs> Barbara, Michael, a few I notes. I know that you've had this thing going on with M. <laughs> it's time for a change. Yeah. I think it needs to be a little bit more me. And also, you're doing Mission Impossible, so let's not get greedy. Yeah, little, yeah, little yeah. known thing called Mission Impossible. Whatever that is. Yeah. And please, uh, this is another one, and this is just me. Can we get you on Taskmaster? Oh my God, I think I would be the biggest hot mess ever. I think it would probably be hilarious because I'd just really screw it up and get into just a gentle panic. I just... But I'd love to, and I love Greg. Oh, I love you two together. Greg, I love Greg. It's like a tall off. <laughs> We'd look like we're in Avatar. <laughs> Avatar 3 has taken an interesting turn. Yeah. And it's already broken pre-sale box office <laughs> records. Uh, I'm going to leave you with one last favour, one Go last on. request, because as you've surmised, because you're very eagle-eyed and clever, uh, this isn't just a sweater slash jumper, jumper. I love it that is... you're so theatrical doing your last minute reveal. What am I looking at? Oh, look at you, honorary at greyhound. Me. I am giving you, I doff you in as honorary greyhound. That is incredibly kind. I once wore this in America ah. and people in the street went, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, and I forgot right they did. I was wearing it and I just thought, how dare you? Oh, look. Do you know what? I've been trying to rally my fellow greyhounds to get a t greyhound tattoo and nobody's biting. I think if I complain about it globally enough like I did about the biscuits, yeah. 
Jason always said that, you know, no wonder they got nicer because you, you didn't ever mention them. <laughs> but I would love to get, I want to get stamp. Let's yes. get it done. Let's get it done. I want to get a little, you know. My final, final, final favour. Oh, and I, I got this off. That. That's too much. Isn't it? <sighs> uh, my final, 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 final favour is this. And I asked Jason and he said, yes, so please say yes. yes. Could I please have a hug? <gasps> of course you can have a hug. If you're going to be honorary greyhound, of course you can. Free hug, free hug, free hug. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that is very kind this of you. This is epic. I love it. I know. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.